and welcome back. So today I'm just gonna do a little garden vlog and let you follow along as I'm doing some gardening tasks like weeding, planting, I'm gonna plant some beets and rainbow carrots. I'm thinking about building a flower box. I might not get to that today, but we will see. So before I get started, I thought it'd be fun to show you guys some gardening stuff that I got from Target recently. I don't know if you've been to Target recently, but they have a huge gardening section in their seasonal area right now. And they also have a lot of gardening stuff in their dollar section in the front of Target when you first walk in. I got a few things. I'm pretty excited about them. What I got from the dollar section, they have these sets that have garden aprons and matching gloves. And I got this one. It's like a yellow, mustard yellow gingham. And I think it'll be really cute. And it came with matching gloves, which I think might be a little bit too big for me. Let me see. Yeah, they're a little bit too big. I'm mostly excited about the apron because it has some pockets, some pretty big pockets. So I'll be able to keep some tools or seeds or whatever I need in those. And that was only $5, I think, for that set. And I think my mom, uh, my mom got a green one and there was also like a pink floral one, which was really cute. So the next thing I'm super excited about, I finally got some new gardening boots. They're really simple, minimalist, I guess, but I, I really like them. They're super soft on the inside and the rubber is like really bendy. So it's easy to like crouch down. Um, and I got that from the gardening like seasonal section. They also had gray gardening clogs with like kind of a heel on them, I think. And if they'd had them in a different color, I definitely would have gotten those. But I think it'll be nice to have boots because they have, you know, a little bit of uh, protection for your ankles. And also from the dollar section, I got this $5 plant stand. I think it's really simple and cute. I just figured it would probably cost more to buy those materials and make one myself. So $5 is really not a lot of money to spend on a plant stand. And anything I can do to keep my cat away from my house plants is a win. I also wanted to show you some things that I think are pretty useful to have. Um, in the garden. I recently got sent this sunscreen spray um, by the brand Yours. It's really cute. And this is SPF 30 broad spectrum and it's really easy to apply. You just shake it and then spray it on your face. And what I think is really awesome about this sunscreen is that you can apply it over makeup. So that's so helpful for me when I'm in the garden and I've been out there for a couple of hours and know that I need some more protection from the sun. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that and always remember to use your sunscreen. And in the same vein, uh, I think it's super essential to have a gardening hat. This is just one of my baseball hats. I have a like white bucket hat somewhere that I was using in the garden for a long time and that was super great. It's great to protect your face and also be able to see what you're doing on a really bright day. Something that is also a garden essential for me that is a little bit of an investment is overalls. I pretty much wear overalls in the garden every single day. I have a pair of white overalls that I really like. I got them from Target on sale for like $16, I think. And I know what you're thinking, white overalls in the garden, but I plan on dyeing them like a chocolate brown, especially having like designated clothing for the garden. Like this shirt I thrifted for 50 cents and um, I don't have any problem wearing it in the garden because I know if it gets dirty, it's my designated gardening shirt. I'm not trying to wear it other places. So as long as it offers some protection from the elements, then it's totally fine for me. And then I also have a pair of tan overalls that are Dickies and I like those, but they are really really heavy duty and they weigh a lot and they're a little bit long so I'm only 5'3 so I 
need to hem them, but I wear them all the time during the winter because they're so sturdy. They're like a really tough canvas. And then I have a couple of pairs of overall shorts. And I've gotten a lot of wear from all of my overalls. So if you're thinking about doing it, just do it. I suggest if you are into gardening, checking out all of Target's gardening stuff right now because it is super cute and some of it is really inexpensive. They also have like gardening tool sets, um, like little, hey, little shears and um, spades in really cute floral prints that all match. And you can also get boots, like rain boots, that match your gardening tools. Anyway, um, I guess I'm gonna go get started in the garden and let's see what we can find to do out there. And Shrek wants to say hi. <laughs>